What's up guys, good morning. Today is our basketball team's first home game. Um, they're 0-1, they played on the road against Kentucky and lost by about like 40. Might sound bad, but that first half they put up a good fight, they're on down by eight at halftime, and then just the second half was kind of a struggle. But again, it is against Kentucky and they're like ranked 16th in the nation. So I wasn't too worried about it, especially since it was their first game as a team and all new players on our coaching staff. So tonight they played in Soro State University, which is a division three school. So you all seen the title D1 versus D3. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm expecting a win by, you know, like a blowout. But at the same time, we uh, they got to go into it like, you know, like it's any other like, you know, game, you know what I'm saying? They got to go into it um, and play hard just right from the jump. And I think if they do that, I know Coach Hugh will make sure they do. I think they'll be successful and have a great night. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. All right guys, so right now it's about 11.30ish, which means it's about seven and a half hours to the game. The gate's open at six though, so my friends and I were gonna go to the van. Um, so we still got some ways away, but I have my journalism class here at 12 here in a bit. I just came by really quick. I was funny, I was looking back from class and I saw our starting shooting guard, Christian Cook. Um, he was just listening to some music and jamming now. So hopefully it gets him pumped up for the game. We'll see how he does tonight. The team, like I said, they put against Kentucky. I'm gonna kind of lean on this a bit. Um, they played pretty good, like I said, in that first half. They're only at eight, and then they just got kind of outscored by 32 in that second half. It's kind of rough. They were tired, and a lot of our yeah, so we have some injuries and some dudes who haven't got their waivers cleared. So we see just see how it goes tonight. Again, it's a team that you know they should be able to beat by a lot. Um, a win's a win, so I'll take it. Whatever you know, it's still hard because the rebuilding from what happened last year. Um, if you guys don't know about what happened last year, then look it up because I'm not gonna explain it because I've already explained a lot on this channel. So go check out those videos too. And I just don't want to talk about it because it's negativity. And um, we're trying to move on from that. So just really excited. My hair is bad. I need a freaking haircut really bad. I'm going to get a haircut next week. I think I'm going to go back to Washington to see my family. Um, as you guys see, I have the New Mexico State Aggie shirt, basketball hoops. So I uh, should be excited. I'm not sure what else I'll show you guys before the game. When I recorded in the morning, I was like right about to go work out. So I was trying to rush that because um, I was almost late. So, um, and then I you know, had class. So. Um, maybe I'll show a little bit of journalism class, maybe I won't. I'll probably go play some basketball, I'll probably chill, eat, do some homework, go to the game. Again, not sure you guys will see next, but whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be good, hopefully. So, catch y'all then. Marshall! Marshall! Oh, okay. <laughs>
Let's go, Aggies. Let's go, Aggies. Yeah, Bucky, let's go. Let's go, Casey. Let's go, Jordan. Now. Down. You gotta keep it up, bro. Yeah, 
got tequila. Let's go, Robert. Oh my gosh, Robert. Attaboy. <laughs> oh yeah, foul. Let's go, Keelan. Oh. Go, Keelan. I've been in speed, those boy. Oh, yeah, Keelan. Ten points, baby. Let's go, Keelan. Double digits, baby. Let's see what they do. They're going to want it. They're going to want it. 35 point dub, though. I'll take that. Three, two, one. Alright y'all, so kind of here. You can see over there, but there's like some military people doing some stuff. I'm here at the AC just playing some basketball. It's like six in the morning. Why am I coming so early? Well because the gyms are close tomorrow. I usually don't come on Thursdays, but I'm just gonna end up shooting around really quick because I'm busy throughout the rest of the day so I don't have time. So I'll just come shoot around for a little bit. Um, there won't be any games going on. I come here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday around 1.30, all these good games in, like 3v3s, 4v4s, 5v5s, 2v2s, whatever it may be. And then uh, I come on Saturdays to just shoot around at, you know, y'all seen the vlogs a couple times. Um, but today we do the same thing, and then I'll go about the rest of my day. Um, just close down the video. It makes it, it sounds like I'm doing an intro, but, um, the basketball team did really good yesterday in the second half. The first half was a little scary. I was kind of frustrated, I don't know if you guys can tell. The second half, they took care of business. They won 84 to 49. Shout out to Keelan. He had a really good game. He played the last 14 minutes, had 10 points, had a block, had about three rebounds. And we had five players score double digits. I know Casey had a good game. Jordan had a good game. Jaden had a good game. They all played good, you know. Uh, Monsi, he had a good game too. They, they all played really good. Um, really they played. It was against a Division three school, so they did what they had to do. Um, apparently they didn't get back to like late Tuesday night, so yeah, that's probably why they were a little, you know, rough to start that first half, but you know, there's never any excuses though, but I mean, you gotta understand where they're coming from, but no excuses, I don't want to say anything, but they did get the win, it's what matters, they won by 35. Um, they play on Saturday against UC Irvine, I know UC Irvine lost their first game to San Jose State, I think they got blown out, but they lost by, I think, double digits, I want to say. Uh, so I'm not sure what to expect, I know UC Irvine beat their team last year, but again, this is a brand new team, I'm sure they got some new players as well. Um, I know NBC used to always, not always beat them, but they beat them, you know, a good amount of times, I mean, back in the day, from what I remember. So we'll see if they can get their first win against a Division One team. Right now they're one on one so that's good. And we'll just see, you know, how they continue to do throughout their, their, oh my gosh, I can't talk. We'll see how they do um, throughout the rest of the season. Um, catch you on next video.